Hello, welcome back to PlayStation Access. My name's Dave and I'm joined today by Nathan. Hello. And we're looking at GT Sport in glorious 4K. Get your Ks out. 60 frames per second. Nice. Get your eyes around this. Um, you can see me there, Nath, hovering at the back. PS Access. This is the auto drive uh, part just before, you know, it's a, it's a rolling start basically for this race. So I was going to say, Dave, I don't know loads about driving, but this does look to me like you're about to do what they call a race. It is indeed a race and um, quite an important one, Nate. This is the very first race that uh, I took part in recently at Polyphony Digital. Holly and I went over to Tokyo to check out GT Sport and I'm racing against journalists. People. And I'm not going to lie. I think they're all better than me. <laughs> and what we're about to see isn't pretty. But it, so, well, I mean, it's very pretty on the eyes, but maybe not if you're into your car racing games, which I'm sure most people are. There's no Dave Cam here. There's no Dave Cam, no. So what uh, I'd like to know is, what's your setup? So I'm playing with a, uh, a racing wheel and pedals. Hmm. Um, now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come clean and say that the braking assists are on. But I'm also going to... Well, I want to make it clear that was not my choice. That was set up by the uh, by the um, the ad the race admin. Yeah. Whoever was hosting this this race turned on uh, the the brake assist. They and probably I didn't wanted realize. to come away with footage that they could use. I didn't oh! realize. It's not on for everybody. I didn't realize until we started the race that I had my brake assist on, and by then it was too late. So I am I am a bit sluggish in some of the corners. Maybe braking a bit better than I would have, They're, so which does keep me on the track most of the Those time. Those guys just smacked each other in their back. I know, I know, it's pretty it's pretty annoying, but they don't have the brake assist on, you see, they, they're just going a bit, they're going a bit better than me. I they're see. having a good head-to-head. -head. We're at Brands Hatch uh, in this okay. um, bit of gameplay, which I can actually say I have driven round myself, oh. been very lucky to drive around. This job is disgusting, isn't it? It is. It means that I can tell you that this is just like a ridiculous recreation of Brands Hatch. It's sort of, you know, it's it's unbelievably accurate. Um, we had a tour of the of Polyphony Digital with Kaznori Yamauchi and he showed us uh, data that they were using to to or how they were collecting data from <gasps> real world tracks. I got bumped off I was going to say I did right. think that you you were turning and nothing was happening. Not good, but I do, you know, he gets his come up and um, and they've actually scanned the tracks with lasers. I was going to say, is it lasers these days? It's lasers from helicopters. Right. Uh, and then, uh, for like a, a sort of broad overview of tracks, then they take, they, they actually uh, found a way to mount the laser, lasers, <laughs> onto cars, to, and then drove around the tracks to get very detailed um, sort of measurements. Mm. So these, these tracks are, you know, just sort of second to none. The, the recreation... Uh, the only thing I would say is that when I went around Brands Brand Hatch, it was it was really really overcast. So this is a know, much this nicer is a, this day. This is a much nicer well, this day. Is, this goes this feeds into kind of you know like once it's, it always strikes me it's not just about the accuracy of the it can the, the track itself can be millimeter perfect, but then um, where the you know the talent of the guys in the studio comes in is filling it out and making it look real in terms of. Uh, the surroundings, the trees, the rubber markings. Um, Absolutely. You know, and the, everything that kind of gives you a sense of this being a real place. Yeah, absolutely. And if you, you know, if you get chance in GT Sport, check out the grass. I don't mean now, but you know, like in replays and things. <laughs> when you're upside down at the side of the road, just look <laughs> the right. I'm calling it now. It's the best grass I've seen in a, in a, in a video game. It's so the best so grass. good. It really is. Yeah. Oh, um, good grass, you need then. to see it up close and in detail. Uh, <laughs> I also should say that I'm driving uh, in, with an automatic transmission, which I'm sure GT uh, veterans everywhere will be screaming at me about. Um, sometimes it's I'm just sorry. about sometimes it's about staying on the road and showing you guys the track. Exactly. Yeah. This is not this is not how to be good at racing in GT Sport. This is just look how nice the racing is in GT. This Sport. is driving Miss Davy. We're this actually. Is this is. It certainly is. Yeah, I do terribly in this corner. To be fair, I mean it's absolutely <laughs> atrocious. And I, I, I don't know if someone gets me here. I deserve it. Oh, oh no, I've him. pushed him out. He's on the fair. grass. Not good. Ruining that beautiful grass. This is the last lap. And I am, I'm on for a podium here, Nate. So for I've done this oh, not from not a field of five. I like that I've gone all out as well and called my car PS Access. Everyone else has just gone with like Dave, Ian, Ian, Joe. I'm like, no, PS Access, proudly flying the Union Jack. Oh, what's not so there, proudly, man? absolutely ruining this last corner you've let Ian overtake you and that I, I know Australian Ian I can't believe it and that's See you later, is, mate. this is the home straight this is it I'm, oh, I'm coming in fourth Dave I've let everybody down 
Um, so there you go. That's just a, a, a very brief look at uh, some beautiful 4K 60 frames a second uh, gameplay of GT Sport running on PS4 Pro. Please let us know in the comments below uh, how you think it's shaping up and uh, what you're looking forward to most about the game. Uh, do subscribe if you aren't subscribed to PlayStation Access and make sure you don't miss out on anything from the world of PlayStation.